Today we will be talking about servo motors. Servo motors are electric motors with very high precision. They are used in most of the fields of automation. And this machine, as you see in the video, is a 28 axis high end machine with 28 servo motors. The mechanism we will examine today consists of a servo motor, a reducer gearbox, and a pinion. As the servo motor rotates, the reducer gearbox will convert the rotational movement with a ratio, and the pinion will rotate in the reduced rate. And as the pinion rotates, the rotary movement will be converted into a linear movement. We have our pinion and we have our gear rack. So as this, this is our servo motor, as the servo motor rotates, the gear also rotates and it pushes the mechanism forward. And on the tip of our servo motor, we have a reducer. The job of the reducer is to increase the torque of the servo motor. It basically acts like a gear in the car. So let's see, this one is number three. So the reducing rate of this one is three. So for three revolutions of the servo motor, the, the mechanism will rotate one time. This means it will give us three times more torque, but three times less speed. In this application, we don't need speed. When you're choosing a reducer, you need to keep in mind, if your servo motor, this one is 3000 revolution per minute. So the maximum speed of this servo motor is 3000. So this is rate three. So with this combination, we can reach the speeds of 1000 revolution per minute. The circumference is around 13 centimeters. With 1,000 revolution, you can calculate the maximum speed you can go when you're creating your application. Servo motors are usually the same design. At the end, they have an encoder. Usually the cable that goes into the end of the servo motor is the encoder, which counts the revolution in pulses. This servo motor has 8 million pulse resolution so it's like a 23 over 23 over 2 it's around 8 million so for each one for each revolution the encoder counts 8 million when you are controlling the position you have a resolution of one revolution divided by 8 million you can check out this chart that i made that explains basically everything what i just told I hope it's helpful. And the second is the main body of the motor. You see we have a power cable here. And if your servo motor has a brake, like this one, the brake goes between the body of the servo motor and the encoder. The function of the brake is if your axis is vertical, so if it's holding its position against gravity, when you power down the machine, the brake will lock and the mechanism will not fall down. 